So, Tuck, do you understand your assignment? I think so. You want me to go somewhere and meditate for an hour, is that right? Yes, it will help you develop your senses as a guardian of the magic wand. Or put me to sleep. I find it very difficult to concentrate for long periods of time. Just make your mind a blank. You forget who you're talking to. <laughs> now, Tippy. And gotcha. Oh, darn it, it got away. Hey, you're back. And chasing flies, I said. And he's gone again. I wonder if he has ADD, apparition deficit disorder. Tuck appears to be talking to himself again. Yeah, he's been doing that a lot lately, ever since that phony ghost incident. That's the first sign of schizophrenia, you know, talking to yourself. That's why a lot of schizos start out as ventriloquists. It makes for an easier transition. Wasn't Dick Cheney a ventriloquist? That's why they called him the Puppet Master, right? Perhaps. But how do you know he was a phony? Who? Dick Cheney? No, the ghost. How do you know it wasn't real? Oh, please, not you too. Now, where the heck am I? Let's see, red carpet, leopard prints, the smell of desperation in the air. Is this the Oscars? No, it's New Jersey. Ah, even worse. Sort of weird that I'm the only one who can see this ghost. It's like it's attached itself to me for some reason. I wonder if it has something to do with the magic wand. Hey, Mr. Trey, does the magic wand have the ability to conjure anything up all by itself? You mean like a ghost? Stop it! You'll only encourage him! Besides, I thought Tuck was supposed to be meditating right now. I tried that, but I couldn't stop thinking. What if ghosts really do exist? What do you suppose their purpose is? Ghosts make money. That's what their purpose is. Especially for those who claim to be able to see them. I got you this time. Oh, darn it. These flies are slipperier than an ale on Crisco. And just as slimy. To answer your question, under certain circumstances, the magic wand could possibly operate of its own free will. Why? So maybe that's the reason. Oh, great. I told you. He's still playing the ghost card. Shh. The reason for what, Tuck? What do you think it conjured up? I'll tell you later, but first I've got to find him. Like I always say, there is nothing as pleasant as floating on a comfortable rug. Unfortunately, this is nothing like a comfortable rug. Oh, there you are. Hey, Mr. Ghost Cat, is it okay if I ask you a few questions? You're not a telemarketer, are you? No, I'm a Bengal. There he goes again, talking to himself. It's all an act, I tell you. He went to Rada, remember? First of all, what's your name? Benjamin Otis Orville Tabington Spencer Fever. But they call me Boots for short. Boots? That's my favorite drugstore chain in the UK. Maybe he's not acting. Maybe he actually sees something. Yeah, and maybe Pat Robertson isn't a senile old mushroom. But he is. Now all I have to do is prove to them you're real. Listen, would you mind floating up here? Help me convince my friends that you really exist. Well, that'd be great. Except I don't really have much control over this. You see, I haven't been a ghost that long and nobody gave me no manual, so I'm pretty much on autopilot at the moment. Well, maybe I can carry you up. Hey, where'd you go? Oh, jeez, what now? Hey, Boots. Mr. Boots, can you come back, please? I think I'd better go and see what's going on. Perhaps meditation was a bad idea. Uh, wait! Uh, let me go talk to what? him first! Why? Okay, I'll give you ten seconds. Okay, listen to me fast. I think we can use this whole ghost thing to our advantage. What? Ten, nine, eight, seven... Wait, why am I standing here while she talks to him first? Are we playing good cop, bad cop or something? Just keep talking about the ghost. I'll fill you in later. Uh, okay. <laughs> this is my best plan yet. Okay, Mr. Trey, it's safe to come down now. Safe? Safe for who? Mr. Boots, did you go outside for a bit? Maybe try to catch some rays? So, um, Tuck, can you, uh, really see a ghost? What? Now you believe him? Well, I never want to be accused of being close-minded. No, not you. Well, he seems to have disappeared again. He does that a lot. Must have been what it was like being married to Tiger Woods. Please, not that old chestnut again. I'm embarrassed enough he was named after a member of the cat family. Swear a shocker, fly! Oh, darn hey, it! Did you just feel a cool breeze? Yeah, 
Maybe he went for a bite in the kitchen. I'll go check. Talk! Well, I'll wait! I think I see something on the landing. You do? Where? No, not in the kitchen. But maybe ghosts don't have appetites. Like vampires. Or supermodels. Look, over there in the corner. Doesn't that look like a ghost next to the telephone table? No, not over here. Talk! Just go with me on this. Oh, wait! Isn't that a ghost flying over our heads? Oh, I think he just flew below me. And now he's above us. Well, he's all around us. Don't you see him, Mr. Trey? The only thing I see is a stairwell in need of a fresh paint job. Well, we should definitely keep our eyes and ears open then, because the more we learn about this ghost, the easier it will be to avoid any trouble. And the more I learn about Tippy's latest scheme, the easier it will be for me to avoid any trouble. Because that feline is trickier than an octopus magician.